Dr. Cinema. If you're new to this particular series, movie is a business as much as an art form. So I've been doing, decided to do a couple quarterly reviews as well as some full reviews. So I did a first quarter review which covered the movies released between January and March 2018. Now I'm going to take a look at the movies that were released between April through June of 2018 and just talk about how movies generally were during this time period from a quality and a commercial perspective. So let's start with a couple of movies that weren't all that they could be. There's Blumhouse's Truth or Dare, which is underwhelming from a critical standpoint and didn't really do that much make that much of a hit commercially. Uh, there is God's Not Dead 3, The Light and Darkness. Didn't really expect anything big from that since a, it's a pure flicks film, but that's something that I should probably bring up. Let's talk about Gotti. It made very little money at the box office, but it definitely got attention for its marketing, uh, calling critics trolls with keyboards, and an apparent 0% versus 60% critical and audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, which was <laughs> kind of hilarious to see because obviously people from the movie must have made fake accounts and did like reviews for it. That's something I would not put past them. Uh, there's Rampage starring The Rock Johnson, which of course was a financial hit and such. Uh, we got the movie Upgrade, which I don't think did that did particularly fabulously at the box office, though I think it did make some money. And it was pretty good from a critical standpoint. I very much liked it. Uh, there was Solo, like I said. Solo. Yeah, it was the first box office bomb for Star Wars. A franchise that's been around since 1977. Their first commercial bomb. Even the prequels made a lot of money. So... Yeah, that's something that people they should start taking notice of. And while they are planning to do some changes with how they do movies and such, Lucasfilm, I don't think they're making the right decisions when it comes to that. But we'll see how they'll handle that. Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. Huge money. Like, I think I already made like $700 million in the box office. Probably more at this point, actually. Uh, Hereditary, very well critically. Probably made some money commercially. Though I don't think it's near the hit of Jurassic World. Ocean's 8 did pretty well. I really liked Ocean's 8. That was a fun sequel. Uh, Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Rihanna. I thought that was pretty good. But let's talk about the movies that I actually I particularly loved. There was Sicario 2, Day of the Soldado, which was just released uh, a couple days ago, which I really liked. That was a great film. Uh, there was A Quiet Place, John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, was number one in the box office for a couple of weeks, and was a huge critical hit. Love that film. But of course, that didn't last forever, because then Infinity War came out. It's one of the few films to hit the $2 billion club, not adjusted for inflation. I think it may have even passed Star Wars The Force Awakens and become the third highest rated, highest gross film. So I have to double check that. Anyway, it's made more than $2 billion. Huge hit commercially. And of course, it was a critical success. Loved it. Last movie, Deadpool 2. It didn't make as much money, but it did break $300 million domestically and $700 million internationally. So it's still well within the ballpark of the first film. And from a critical standpoint, I personally loved it more than the first. I did a couple of videos explaining my thoughts on that. You can check those out if you want. But that's really all I have to say for Deadpool 2 without repeating what I've said before. I think the only other thing I want to talk about is that this is the first time in U.S. box office history where... It broke $6 billion before July. Yeah, this in the first six months span of 2018, it broke $6 billion for the first time at the U.S. box office. The previous record being $5.6 billion. And obviously that 
is a combined effort from all sorts of films, such as Infinity War, Deadpool 2, all sorts of different films. And commercially, it's been a really successful run for movies. And while it will probably start to slow down a little bit in July and August and those months, it'll still be an incredibly successful year from a financial standpoint for the movie industry. Critical-wise, there are a lot more hits than misses, which is great because Infinity War, which is a movie that has been being prepared for for close to 10 years and has been uh, hyped up since 2012, had to be a hit, and it was. And there are a lot of other great hits, such as Black Panther, of course, Quiet Place, uh, Hereditary, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. That's why I have to say for the second quarter of 2018 of the movie industry, both critically and commercially, let's keep the good luck going. July, we got another Marvel Studios film, Mission Impossible film, and all sorts of other films that will either be commercially successful or at the very least critically successful. Ideally both, but either one. Let's keep this good luck going. Dr. Cinema, like, comment, subscribe, share, and see you next time.